How can malicious software be removed from a computer? In this lesson, you will identify computer security threats, identify security tools, and explore the Windows Action Center. Here are some guiding questions I'd like you to consider while you're discussing this material with your group. What is a computer virus? What is Windows Defender? And what is a firewall? As you're exploring computer security threats, keep these definitions in mind. A Trojan horse, a malicious application that is unable to spread of its own accord. Historically, the term has been used to refer to applications that appear legitimate and useful but perform malicious and illicit activity on an affected computer. Malware is malicious software or potentially unwanted software installed without user consent. Spyware describes a program that collects information such as the websites a user visits without user consent. Installation may be without prominent notice or without the user's knowledge. A bot, a malicious program installed in a computer that is part of a bot network. Bots are generally backdoor trojans that allow unauthorized access and control of an affected computer. One of the security tools available to us in the Windows operating system is the Windows Defender, which helps protect your computer against pop-ups, slow performance, and security threats. And it comes bundled with Windows 7. It can detect and remove known spyware from your computer and receives regular updates. The Tools and Settings window in Windows Defender allows you to change many options as well as view quarantine items. Windows Defender can be configured to treat alert items differently based on their severity. Remove removes the item from the system. Quarantine places the items in quarantine. This is done if the infected file is needed. It can be put in quarantine until it can be cleaned. The malicious software removal tool checks computers running Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Microsoft Windows 2000, Server 2003, and Server 2008 R2. It checks for infections by specific prevalent malware, malicious software including Blaster, Sasser, and MyDoom and helps remove any infection it finds. Microsoft releases an updated version of this tool on the second Tuesday of each month and as needed to respond to security incidents. The tool is available from Microsoft Update Windows Update and the Microsoft Download Center. You can also download it from this link provided here. After downloading the malicious software removal tool, you can browse to the file location and double click the file. Follow the wizard instructions and scan for any malicious software. You can have a, do a quick scan, a full scan, or you can do a customized scan to scan any particular folder. Microsoft has made available some more security tools. Antivirus software can prevent threats from infecting your systems. The Microsoft Security Essentials is a free download for personal use and small business and can be used in a business environment for up to 10 PCs. If you have more than that, you'll want to get an enterprise-based solution such as Microsoft's Forefront and Endpoint Protection. You can see the download links available here. The Windows Action Center is a central place to view alerts and take actions that can help keep Windows running smoothly. List important messages about security and maintenance settings that need your attention. Red items in the Action Center are labeled important and indicate significant issues that should be addressed soon. Yellow items are suggested tasks that you should consider addressing like recommended maintenance task. The Action Center messages can be viewed quickly by placing your mouse over the icon in the notification area as indicated in this slide. The Action Center can be found by clicking Start, Control Panel, and typing Action Center in the search field. Once you open it, it'll look like this. And here you can see some items in red which need immediate attention as well as items in yellow which indicate some maintenance items that need to be taken care of. Here are some additional questions I'd like you to discuss with your group. What tool can be used to remove malware from an infected system? What feature of Windows is the central location to view alerts and take actions to help keep the system running smoothly? And what is the name given to a malicious program installed on a computer that is part of a bot network?